Daryl, what is your advice to help underrepresented professionals find and utilize networks? I never thought I'd be one of those guys that said back when I was your age I didn't have those things available. But the web has so many great resources and so does NACAC. So what I would do is certainly ask for permission to attend as many conferences regarding both serving the underserved and being underrepresented in the profession so that you can expand your network face to face and not just through web derived connections. I know that for me finding mentors is an easy thing to do when you meet people face to face and I strongly believe your mentors can be of any background However, those that work with underrepresented populations or who are underrepresented will probably understand you a little better and understand how to help you advance your career. What is something you know and use now that you wish you would have known when you were newer to the profession? I wish I would have known that bold solutions are okay and things that are manageable risks are okay to try. I believe I was a little too cautious when I was young because I was afraid of how I might be judged and certainly being one of a few that I knew in the profession that looked like me made me a little more cautious than I needed to be. So understanding that bold solutions, fresh solutions can come from anybody of any age is of vital importance so don't be afraid to try them. How should you manage difficult but necessary conversations? I think being direct and honest is the best way to manage it. In life, in politics, and certainly in education, which can be intertwined, people will have things on their minds that they don't know are incorrect. Surrounding race, surrounding issues of poverty or economic disparity, and some people use language just because they've heard it that they don't know is incorrect. So certainly building allies within the profession to help you out with those difficult conversations and using colleagues on campus is one way to do it. I've found that if you're just honest and direct, people are appreciative that you set them on the right path. What is your advice regarding personal and professional growth? My direct advice can be summed up in a few words. Be so great at your work that people want to retain and promote you and so that they would certainly hate to see you work for their direct competition. That means attending conferences during which you can learn and increasing your learning by being a professional reader in your spare time, what little time you have, and using people who are different from you to help you to learn more about how to learn in your profession is ultra, ultra important. When you decide that excellence is the way to go, whether you choose to stay in your current position, work at another place on a similar side of the desk, or switch from high school counseling to college admission counseling, or from college admission counseling to high school counseling, you'll understand that being an asset to others is what makes you an asset to your organization. So greatness is not accidental. Work at it every day.